All right, let, 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 let's shift the discussion now. Like I said, to, to matters of on the home front here. Obviously, we got to talk Epstein because, you know, things... It, it, it's fascinating because, like, as soon as he died, like, that story just fucking disappeared. Yeah, almost like that was the idea. <laughs> it's odd how that happened. It's like, hey, yeah, this guy, this, this could be, like, a, a year-long uh, criminal case with a, a bunch of discovery. What if he just died? I mean, obviously, among, you know, gentlemen such as ourselves, you know, obviously, there's still so much going on here. But as far as, like, the official press recognition or following this story, just, they're like, oh. Well, the NFL drafts, uh, the NFL season is yep. coming soon. Like, you know, I, why are you bringing up old shit? <laughs> yeah, but th- this has changed uh, just this week, and I'm wondering uh, if you could just what is your take on the appearance of this guy, Michael Baden, who is a you know forensic pathologist <sighs> who is a sort of uh, a sort of gadfly in the you know. Uh, autopsy yeah. community <laughs> in, the, in the body cutting up yeah so he is he, he's, he's like he's like the john Gotti of autopsy uh, of uh oh yeah, yeah he's like yeah because it's like he's the one that everyone can name but uh, yeah. yeah actual coroners like, yeah that, that guy's just a flash he's a fla- he's yeah so he's good. a flashy uh yeah he's a me first flashy he's a, hip, a, a hip hop style he's a hip hop yeah. style corner not a lunch pail nine to five corner <laughs> yeah but he, he had that is show hip hop style <laughs> didn't he have that show on hbo uh secrets of the dead or something yeah. or like yeah. it was like a he bunch did. of yeah Auto- i think it was called autopsy every yeah. every every guy i knew who had exactly like if they if i was doing stats with them they had exact medium intelligence <laughs> they were like that's the most interesting show on tv <laughs> <laughs> so you got this guy michael baden who i said is you know sort of a bit of a like a press hound for yeah. this kind of shit and he is the just, dr joyce brothers of autopsy and he is now uh, uh giving interviews he, or he has been hired by epstein's brother or his estate to do like a private examination of this. And he is now giving interviews to uh, Fox News and other outlets saying, based on his study of the evidence here, he would say that this conclusive, this points to homicide rather than suicide. I mean, no shit. This is what everyone is. We, I, we've been screaming for <laughs> months now. Yeah. But, but like, the, what do you make? So, Brace, what do you make of him introducing this again into the public consciousness? So, it kind of throws a wrench in things because obviously. Yeah, Epstein was murdered, right? Yes. But Michael Baden also is a fucking scumbag who is hired by Epstein's team. So, like, it, it makes you wonder, like, oh, was he was he not murdered? <laughs> like, like, oh, is this okay? But I think he was murdered, and I think that like it's it's one of those things where where Baden is correct, but he's doing it not to get to the truth of the matter, but he's doing it to sort of obfuscate. Uh, things in the courtroom uh, because obviously you know there are these big um, lawsuits against Epstein's estate and the money kind of can't move to his brother Mark Epstein like it's supposed to without uh, these being dealt with first so I think this could just add a wrench in those proceedings but Michael Baden is based in his opinion on the fact that a bo- bone was broken in um, in Epstein's neck the hyoid bone which is not like that's not a bone that breaks when you do what Epstein did. You know, Which, by the uh, way, for- whatever they said, like it's it it does happen sometimes in suicides, yeah. especially in older men. Like it's not completely like you yeah. know jet fuel steel beams. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> parody, not true. Um, uh, didn't I think? Uh, the but most however, case- like it is something that is almost always consistent with a homicide. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah it's I like believe- a circle circle graph. Like not all not. Every time that bone is broken doesn't mean it was a murder, but every time there there's a murder, that bone is broken, right? Yeah, like, pretty much. And if both cameras outside of the cell are yeah, you add that, yeah, 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 and yeah, all yeah, of the guards are asleep yeah, simultaneously. That's, that's the thing that I think that like, yeah, uh, this could, we could clear all of this up very quickly if we were just allowed to watch the hours before Epstein's death and to see if anybody came in there and said anything to him or did something to him. We can't uh, do that, that though. The camera not going to happen. The camera's broke. What do you want? Unlucky. It happens. I, Unlucky. How bad did RNG. Break? It's a bad RNG, dude. It's a battle royale. Bad, yeah, yeah, true. It's the, the ping at uh, the Manhattan Correctional Center was out of this yeah, world. Yeah. Fucking wireless Logitech products. Always fucking shitting on me, dude. <laughs> done with it. Hey, it's it's like it's everyone was a, they weren't supposed to be there in the first place and then the cameras were broken and then he hanged himself in what is like in a, in, a, in a ward of a jail that hasn't seen a suicide for 30 years, and the last guy who killed himself was in the mob. 
So it's a little suspicious. And it's it's Michael Baden, of course, himself is um, I think he was famously fired as uh, it was like something like the um, it was like some high up position in New York State, like a medical position. Because he was giving people advice on how to get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing we didn't want him to do. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, he uh, he was uh, doing a autopsy on JFK for the House Select Committee on Assassinations. Which, another one of those things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Again, you have uh, very odd, but like... Like, as an addendum to this, like, you have a questionable person, you know, clearly yeah. for what is easily discernible as odd to, you know, suspect reasons is yes. reintroducing what is a, like, a, fa- a factual and what honestly everyone should be talking about the fact that he was clearly murdered in federal in, in custody. Yeah. Um, but, like, this has also inspired a new round of media takes. I'm, spe- I'm thinking specifically of a piece I saw in Jezebel that. Yes. Essentially imp- uh, implied that, like, there, the, the headline was like, "Oh no, time for another nightmarish debate about whether Epstein killed himself or was murdered." And they see, like, yes. the, the new line seems to be that, like, let's just stop talking about this. This debate is sort of ghoulish and cruel, and most importantly, doesn't center the victims. Like, his victims yeah. are being denied, sort of. Uh, agency or rep or so like some like that, that having this debate is somehow uh, cruel or or gauche when like his actual victims are seeking some kind of justice through like you said these lawsuits um, against his estate which seems doubly odd to me because if you take that line seriously like if he was murdered it, that's a very important question because the people who fucking killed him are almost certainly the people who are have victimized, yeah. abused, and probably killed other people related to this case mm-hmm. as well. So isn't that important to I, kind of I, figure I, out like what's going on here? If, you, if you're, if you're concerned very, about bringing justice to these people? Everybody who has said like, oh, don't pay attention to how he was killed, pay attention to what he did when he was alive, is uh, they, they're, they're, they're in my black book, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, they, they, it's, it's, it's obvious that all of this is so connected. Like, how he was killed, who killed him, has a very big impact on getting justice for the victims because it will allow us to finally lock up William Jefferson Clinton. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's, he was, if he was killed, if Jeffrey Epstein was fucking strangled to death in the Manhattan Correctional Center, I believe that is pretty fucking prescient to what happens to his victims, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like to think that he was killed and it had nothing to do with like other people who were involved like do they think that like yeah someone the someone bribed the guards and got into the correctional facility they did all this shit to kill him but because he was bad like is that what <laughs> yeah. they think yeah. you would literally have to think that to be like this has nothing to do with the victims yeah no it's it's this is like assassin's creed or something like he, he was given this mission <laughs> by, by a guy on the street and he came in and just walked by epstein and stuck him or something it's totally ridiculous it was carl I mean, it was carl marx he was like to protect free election yeah. you have to kill this bad man jeffrey epstein this, yeah it's it's there should literally be no other news story except for jeffrey epstein it, like, uh, like this is like when we, we had you on like you know again well back when he was still alive to talk about this yeah we were like we compared it to the Mueller report and now we have this yeah. Ukraine impeachment shit, which is like, in my opinion, way more substantive than anything that the Mueller report produced. But at the same time, I still don't give a yeah, shit boring. because this is the only exactly. thing I fucking care about. Like, how can you just have this you, out there in your consciousness and be obsessing over all this other shit? It's, yeah, I mean, oh, no, Felix, speak. Yeah, it's like the people, speak on the it. people who are like, I, like, my favorite posts after Epstein were like the Pod Save Network people, the crooked media people <laughs> who are like, just like, well, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> anyway, we have our 70th emergency podcast this month about how Glenn Simpson actually heroically pointed out to the whistleblower that his email was being read by by Mark Duragets and <laughs> and uh, and Teddy Ziggurat was seen with 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 Clayton Drimshaw. And it's like, yeah, this I- is the thing you're obsessive about. This fucking thing, like <laughs> this bullshit. We literally have fucking, <laughs> fucking Prince Andrew is like can can be arrested for raping a child, and we're fucking talking about Ukraine. 
Like, give me a We can finally take out the Cromwell's dream. <laughs> we can finally destroy the British royal family. But it's it's like somehow this is just like it's it's a conspiracy theory because it's complicated and because it's not on fucking Mad Al. Like somehow yes. the Mueller report shit isn't a conspiracy. These 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 FISA warrants or whatever are a conspiracy theory. But the fact that someone was killed in like a, I well actually turns out to be a pretty low security um, <laughs> jail uh, is 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 just totally like out of bounds. And it's it's there is. You know, well, there's going to be a whole wash of articles now. In fact, I've seen a few already. Like, well, Michael Baden can't be trusted. Yeah, Michael Baden can't be trusted, but he's right. Right. Like, it, it's it's murder. I mean, I can't trust journalists either. They fucking helped do the Iraq War. But like, it's totally insane. And right. I, the thing is, some of our faves will be implicated. Like, what about to happen? Right. And like, like there, there's no. Yeah. Like, okay, if Michael Baden can't be trusted, like, okay, so the Manhattan Correctional Facility people can. Like no one in this can be trusted, but like, yeah, we, it's, it's like the, the thing I've seen these, like the mass media go after the past two days is if the Trump guy was too mean to the Colonel who was on TV, <laughs> like, are you yeah. fucking kidding me? This, but just as, as, as to the issue of the MCC and this suicide, I'd like to suggest not so much a, a like a counterfactual, but just like, maybe I mentioned this before, but like a parallel storyline that I think makes a very compelling contrast to the idea that um, he committed suicide in like the most secure protection you can be in as the highest profile prisoner in American yes. custody. Prior to all of this, like maybe even just like a month before, El Chapo Guzman was held in Brooklyn in a similar facility in Brooklyn and taken to a, federal, a courthouse in Brooklyn where he was convicted and is now sent to like supermax prison. Mm -hmm. And they carried out that trial where like every single time he walked into daylight, he was wearing like a bulletproof suit and probably yeah. covered by like 20 snipers because he was up until I've seen the most high profile person. Uh, and like the, I, okay. So Chapo is a guy, not only he's escaped from jail twice, right? Yeah. Has like, has, yeah, like his, like he's responsible for the deaths of like countless prosecutors, police, and law enforcement people in Mexico. So there's like always the, 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 the like that, obviously we're very careful about like the idea that he could be broken out or there could be some sort of attack on the trial itself. But further than that, if you're a guy facing life in supermax prison, you pretty much have like every reason to pretty much kill yourself, right? Oh, absolutely. And if he had killed himself in custody, that would have been such a defeat for like the entire weight of like the U.S. Prosecut prosecutorial apparatus, that it would be like unthinkable like that they could allow that the to happen before they could hang him. Exactly, like the like if they want you to breathe every second of your life in a fucking box because that's like your punishment and that's the power that they have as the state. You're telling me yeah. that like they they can't absolutely make sure that you live to experience every second of your punishment. This was happening basically parallel to the Epstein thing. And then this, and he's just like, oh, he just killed himself in jail. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. It just, I, 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 was talking about this with, I was talking about this with Catherine last night, the, like the El Chapo connection, and just this contrast here being so vivid. And I'd just like to say, just for the listeners, you can do this too if you have an acute Ep-pilled Ep uh, GF. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, the thing is about, about Epstein's suicide too, is I have been in jail, and I actually have like had a, my a, a close friend of mine was in solitary in jail where, where things are a little bit different. You know, you have thin, even thinner sheets, etc. It's killing yourself with one of these fucking sheets is so hard. Like you, these things are basically paper; you can rip them. And like the the fact that they're saying Epstein hung his like he he, he like hung himself from the top bunk and like leaned forward and snapped with his force. Neck. With force, he leaned with forward with force. force. Yeah, it's 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 just totally so out of the bounds of reality that like that should be the fucking conspiracy theory. The fact that they're saying that somebody can kill themselves with a sheet that's like thinner. It's like a millimeter fucking thick. I mean, that's not like you get 50 of these sheets. He was having a blast in jail, dude. His lawyers were bringing him hot. He was. Think about this. Epstein had more sex in the Manhattan Correctional Center than statistically most listeners of Chapo Trap House have had in their entire lives. His, lawyer, his lawyers would bring him girls to have sex with. 
And he was in high spirits. The last time he saw his lawyers, he said, I'll see you Sunday. And we're supposed to believe that he just went back to his cell, got so despondent because he can only read trashy airport bookstore literature there instead of the, uh, you know, good and all these other things. I'm sure he was used to, to reading in his mansion and he fucking killed himself by leaning forward. He was also he was also uh, in the weeks in like the week leading up to his death, paying off women. To, yeah. to not testify against him. He was dispersing like, payments to keep them quiet. Why would you do why that? Why do that? Why would you why bother with that? Do that? And well, like uh, everyone well, who people, says people give away their belongings before they commit suicide. But yeah. uh, the one that gets me is just a lot of people say like, yeah, this guy is like this alpha sex maniac. He can't bear the thought of being, you know, in jail. It's like maybe after he's convicted, I might buy that. Yeah, yeah. You know, like if he gets like all his, he, all, his, all the tricks up his sleeve don't work. He, he can't swing a deal and he gets a real like life sentence i could see him killing himself then but they hadn't even fucking tried him yet and and all his his selected the jury and all his previous interactions with you know the criminal justice system would have proven to him by now (laughs) yeah like here's the thing this is a man as we found out about the zorro rant stuff who wanted his penis and head frozen yes so presumably they could be attached to some sort of Fuck horrible bot. robot yeah. later in, when when technology <laughs> a post-apocalyptic advances. fuck bot yes. that, that, that is- exactly and he spent all this money all this time all this research like he was it, it appears that he was basically dedicating like a good chunk of his life to to this sort of life extension this transhumanist stuff and then he just kills himself in jail and lets his body sit there for hours while while, while his penis i'm sure <laughs> braids his egg-shaped <laughs> penis by the way which and then of course Someone catches just a glimpse of him on camera being brought into the uh, into the the um, medical examiners and no nothing else. I gotta say the thing about him wanting to save his penis really proves that he's a complete psychopath because Absolutely. if you have a trash dick like that, like an awful mm-hmm. egg dick, Absolutely. and you're imagining some future where you're in a robot body and you get to fuck forever, wouldn't you want like the highest end robot penis to replace your shitty trapezoid the, dick? Instead, he's like, no, nah, man, I'm sticking with this thing. This got me this far. Uh, that's my, that's so like what? the most darkly funny thing about Epstein is how fucking stupid he was. He was a moron. Yeah. Like he was obviously totally. involved in this like international intelligence blackmail scheme, like the types of, that's existed for a while. But like, as a guy, he was just a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah. he, like, like. I know that a lot of this is like influence peddling, but like the idea of him just being like, "Yo, I'm gonna get all the science guys to come to my house, and yes. they're gonna tell me how to get pussy." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he was like, a he fucking. Got Stephen dope. Hawking on a submarine, man. Like, I don't do that unless, you're like, unless, unless, like, you think there's like a twenty percent chance that you can fuck a girl in the year yeah, twenty seventy five. Yeah, yo, 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 I'm gonna get Stephen Pinker over here, and we're just gonna vibe, and he's gonna tell me how to basically be immortal. <laughs> what am I? What am I? What are my favorite things? that's happened since then is that because of this case now, one of my favorite things to do whenever you see some totally obnoxious, just evil person on Twitter sharing their idiot opinions like Larry Summers or Steven Pinker or Bill Gates, just reply to them always with one of the dozens of pictures (laughs) of them and Jeffrey (laughs) having fun together. And I've noticed that when you start doing that, like to Steven Pinker, especially like a lot of like the IDW people or people who love smart people, Get very angry about that. And what they say is like, oh, pfft, Stephen Hawking went to Epstein Island too. Are you telling me he was abusing women? And I'm like, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> sure, dude. Yeah. Didn't he his wife divorce him? He proceeded on his wife with his nurse in his chair. He was able to cheat on his it's wife like, in the chair. Again, to Chapo listeners, you know. These guys are getting more pussy than you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, even, even Stephen Hawking. Um, yeah, it is. It is so like I, I somebody who is so obsessed with something, so especially so obsessed with life extension to do this is just beyond the realm of possibility. Not when you have cards, and, cards to play. That's the it's, thing. It's, he, he had cards to play still. Right. And people say he, like, abs- he had he had he had basically unlimited. Fans, and as we know, if you have money, it is a different justice system, yes, even right. if the fucking media is on you. OJ got. Yeah, right. And like people were like, oh, but it would like, yeah, he got a sweetheart deal last time and it would be different this time because of the media circus. It's like you want to fucking bet. I mean, like, look how quick the news cycle moves now. 
Like if they they would like I'm guessing what they would have done is just drag this out for like two years, which is entirely possible if you have unlimited funds. And Absolutely. lo and behold, people fucking forget. They do and it the all the time. Is, if he if he could drag this court case out forever, which I'm sure was is was and, and now even after his death still is the plan, he could still have sex three times a day, <laughs> which was what the thing that his life, besides of course um being a high value intelligence asset was devoted to so like there's no, why why kill himself because he doesn't have luxury because he the, can buy the everything. food was terrible <laughs> here yeah. okay there's there's two more uh i guess we're gonna go along with this but there's two more threads that I, I need to bring up with you the first of which is where in the world is Ghislaine maxwell yeah because here's the thing as, oh as these God. as these civil suits go on there are attorneys representing the victims who uh, basically have subpoenaed Ghislaine because she is a probably second only to him, like the most integral figure to this entire criminal yeah. enterprise, right? They have said now that like literally they don't know where to serve <laughs> it. Like they they they've they there have was, there no was a claim. The, the, the apparently Interpol is looking for her, and there was a thing a couple weeks ago claiming that they had. Uh, triangulated her cell phone to a resort in Brazil, but nothing yep. has come of that. Nothing has come of that. Okay, so like just well, just just no, just, so ba- the- just back up for a second though. A while ago, we we all know for a fact, like up until about 2015, Ghislaine Maxwell was photographed. If you just search like the Getty archives, oh my her God, name, everyone. She was photographed basically Everybody. at every single high profile, like the the uh, any party being held in Silicon Valley, Hollywood, or DC of like the heights and Manhattan, of Manhattan, of course, of and Manhattan, and like what, the heights of like every sector of like power and influence in this country. She was at every party being photographed with everyone. Famously at Chelsea Clinton's wedding, there's that photo of her. She had an aisle seat at the wedding, such that yep. she when Chelsea was walking down the aisle to her beautiful, ugly Phil son husband, <laughs> uh, she was sticking her head out, yeah. and it was just like a a line of people and then just her head poking out. Then yeah. drops off the radar entirely, is not photographed or seen at any sort of society event for like four years. Then after the death, there's a story about how she's been held up in Manchester by the sea. Yes, the, the film and the town in New Hampshire with this Silicon Valley type. That's the only like thing that we hear. Then days later, we get the photo of her at In-N-Out Burger reading so a book. Good called The Life and Death of CIA Agents. And which was photoshopped. Which was exposed as a total fabrication it was a fake within photograph. about 24 hours of it happening and then never heard another word about it. Yep. Not a word. Yeah. She's supposed to be in Brazil, it's, but it's, nobody, nobody has served her. Nobody's seen her there. And if she's at a resort, I guarantee, sorry, some fucking busboy or some waiter or somebody would have taken a picture of her. So this horse, she, she does not have the, she's rich, but she does not have the resources to disappear like that. Unless somebody well, is helping you know her do it, or she's dead, which is my well, my bet, honestly. It's it's kind of funny. Her sister actually, or two, her sisters who are twins, um, actually came up with this software called Kiliad, which the FBI uses, which is a way to sort of um, let's say coordinate uh, like suspects' profiles across systems. So um, presumably, she has a couple of inside men on that. Uh, and of course, there's the story about the day after uh, yeah. the the video the the photo was released. Uh, the customs network yep. at all yep. American yep. airports yep. went down. Yep. All went yep. out. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Just, Dude, just there's so much that. bad luck around this case. <laughs> and that means everybody had to do it by hand, which meant nobody could like authenticate <laughs> the documents using any of the any of the uh, the computer programs. Yeah, she is. So there, there are, there are. She is. So she is said to be in Brazil along with Jean Luc Brunel, who is this. Um, just like lifelong rapist, uh, allegedly. Monster, well, actually, absolute scumbag. A total monster who is a uh, modeling, quote unquote, modeling agency like director and talent later in his life just became exclusively a talent scout in Brazil. Mm. And there are, Jesus there's Christ. actually uh, oh. testimony in the, uh, uh, that, that, that emerged where I think it was Epstein's like house, house man or something, I like guess Butler was talking about how, um, well, Jean Luc Brunel was always on the phone getting girls from Brazil. Mm-hmm. So he has a network down there. And it, when it emerged that Ghislaine was down there, it emerged that Brunel was down there. So there, my theory on that is either they are trying quickly to have a baby that will become some sort of like pedophile super baby <laughs> that will eventually like emerge and, and, and repopulate the earth with, with all these, these horrible pedophiles. 
or um, they are both uh, just dead, which which sounds correct to me. Like yeah. I don't think we'll ever see them again. I, I tweeted this, and I really think it's true. She is either in in one of those doomsday bunkers that billionaires are building in New Zealand, or she's part of the foundation of one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, they are they are they are using her fucking skull as a goblin uh, <laughs> somewhere somewhere down there, and it's it's the fact that like. She was able to maybe slip out of the country. Uh, maybe she had already slipped out of the country without anybody noticing whatsoever. I mean, I would if I, she was all over the news in a, a airport. I assume one person would be like, "Oh, that's the famous pedophile lady that's like on the front page of every newspaper." <laughs> yes, but nobody did. No, but not a single mention. Well, because it's like it's interesting. Like, she, every she, time she, I go through an airport, I got stopped. I get stopped for a long fucking time, and this lady can go through. Well, I mean, it's like, like I said, the fact that she was photographed at like every single society party. And like the interesting thing is, despite being one of the most visible people in the world, she's like not like her photo ever showed up on like Us Weekly because like to the, no. the punters buying it, they would like, who's this person standing next to Bill Clinton or Elon Musk or whatever, right? Plus, she's but, busted. <laughs> but everybody <laughs> in that world clearly knew who she was and she was always like again wrangled an invitation to chelsea clinton's wedding i mean that think yeah. about the circles you have to be in to get that an aisle seat at that fucking wedding okay so then like yeah, and, and then she just fucking disappears for like four years and then now nobody knows where she is and i'm sorry like is there any news outlet or journalist looking into this question at all i mean i i like i have every single day i think about quitting an anchor and just fucking going down there she's because she's either in brazil or she there's rumors that she was in thailand with Brunel as well and just like just just cutting my way through the jungle to find the place where her body is buried <laughs> because she's out there like i know she's out there either her body or her living soul is out there and i must find her and keep her to safe <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah she will never appear on a fucking witness stand she will never like the, there will never we'll never hear another peep from her. if she somehow is alive she is just going to be in another country forever totally silent see that's the thing for me that really clinches the <laughs> narrative here N not only do you have all the ridiculous coincidences going around with epstein's suicide uh, all of those just stacked up things that make it impossible to know what happened oops you have the fact that this person disappears because i remember when it came out that, oh, she's hanging out with this billionaire in, uh, in Massachusetts, I remember thinking, oh, fuck, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, the, maybe I got too carried away with this thing. But then there was a photoshopped goddamn photograph, and then she disappeared yep. completely. I'm like, ah, okay, never mind. Not even a particularly yeah. well done. No, that's the thing yeah. that's so baffling about it, because it no, clearly like, was it not invented. like within a day. It, it was it clearly not designed to actually fool anyone for any length of time it no. was some sort of either message or just buying literally a day that's it okay yeah. all right this gets me to my like the, the second and, and and last thing that i need i need i need to bring up here matt you mentioned about like the fact that it was such a poorly done like stitch up of like the the movie ad wasn't right for yeah. that time or place it was like so yeah. clearly fabricated there were and, and, artifacts all in yeah, it yeah and it like it's it just like and it makes you wonder like okay well like who's this so obviously it's not to fool anyone. Yeah. But like like you and I are not like the received audience for whatever message is being conveyed there and the fact of the book that she was reading that was clearly visible. <laughs> Another huge, huge tell here. Just, well, no, you know, actually the book wasn't visible. Oh, was That's it? the thing. No, it was only reported at first, quote unquote, reported by a witness, and then it turns out it was just reported by her lawyer. That the book was uh, was was about um, heroes or dead heroes or something of the CIA. I mean, so, just, no, I, well, she she runs she runs she runs a book club. You know, people want to know yeah, just yeah, Lane's yeah. reading group. Uh, you know what? You know what she's what the, what she's on about. You know, um, yeah. okay. So keep that in mind. Which brings me to my 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 next digression here. Kevin Spacey. Hmm. <laughs> you remember at the end of last year when he released that video as Frank Underwood again, like in character. Yes. As his character from House of Cards, where he addresses the friend. camera like, like this bizarre monologue that when it happened at the end of last year, I was just like, this has blown out everything that's happened in 2018 before. Like, this is the most insane thing that will happen. Like, my, it was just my jaw was open, bleary eyed. It was amazing. It was, I was like, maniacal. this is the, this is a madman. Like, this, why would he do this? Who around him is like, yeah, Kevin, this is a great idea. Get in character as Frank Underwood and like inveigh vaguely about like, you know, the, the conspiracies against you. And add to that, 
the coffee mug with Queen Elizabeth's coronation. Yes. Which was clearly visible in that video. Again, you asked yourself back then, this makes absolutely no sense. This is the most insane thing I have ever seen. He is completely cracked. Looking at it oh, now, it was a fucking warning. Looking at it, it now, it begins to take on a much different, more there is a evil and sinister but clearly logical rat like rational reason to do this if you look about it in through this light that that, that you and I that just this really the video released publicly were not the audience for this video. No. No, so consider yeah. the fact that he is essentially playing the character that he did on House of Cards. Again, Catherine and I were Thank talking God. about this last night, and I guess I had never really considered it. Consider the parallels between Frank Underwood and his wife and Bill and Hillary Clinton. Frank Underwood is a Southern, so, a Southern Democrat who sort of governs from the center right of his party, who is sort of this like, you know, covetous of power and this kind of Machiavellian political figure. That there are these like, you know, parallels that are clearly like on the surface pseudo based on Bill Clinton and Hillary. Mm -hmm. Then you add to that the very, very close relationship that Kevin Spacey had with Bill Clinton post-presidency yes. and the Clinton Foundation. And then add on top of that the veiled threat to the royal family, i.e. Prince Andrew and that coffee cup. And what do you begin to think takes shape with regards to Kevin Spacey? And now we know one of his accusers in one of the trials that he was on, dead. The other yep. pleaded the fifth on the stand and tanked the entire trial. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and now he's pretty clear. He's and in that, Serbia. He's hanging out in Serbia right now. He's in has Serbia? Been for yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah. Oh, my God. That is fucking, that is fucking spook city, Serbia. Like, oh, yeah. No shit. So someone made, made him go there. So Kevin Spacey went from being like, oh, my God, like this guy, like yeah. his crimes have been exposed. Like there is like numerous criminal like lost he's just so a like, deluded maniac like like, like he's a totally deluded maniac this guy is like you know crashing and burning months later he's off scot-free yep. <laughs> yep. so what brace what do you think like again I, but what, like, I've, i'm heavily implying here but what begins to take shape when you think about this now so the let me be frank video caused shockwave I mean, I still watch it about once a month. <laughs> it is the most it's uh, it is the most psychotic thing i've ever seen do Unless you consider that, yes, that mug at the end, because it's everything in that in that video is like, you don't just pick that mug, right? Like, there's not a lot of things to look at in the video. And the mug is one of the few things that, like, your eyes are drawn to, especially at the end, where he takes this sort of purposeful sip of it. He toured a private tour of the Royal Palace in, I think, 2015, and breaking all protocol, which they take seriously there because they don't have much else uh <laughs> he sat in the queen's coronation chair so it's either he could be he could be saying a, a number of things but we also must keep in mind that of course he flew in the lolita express alongside one william jefferson clinton jeffrey edward epstein and uh for some reason chris tuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll never not be funny. That'll never not be funny. There's that the so one fucking rush hour guy. Yeah, so I, I, you know. I, oh my god, that's just the perfect touch to know that you're you're living in like the DMT death dream of a country. <laughs> but it, again, shows how dumb like that Epstein was truly stupid because it's like yeah, he got all the business and political leaders he needed to like to you know complete his task, his role in the world. But he was also like. Yo, Rush Hour was some funny ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so are you like still friends with Jackie Chan or what? <laughs> um, so it's it's I think it's a warning to the royal message or to the royal family or a message to the royal family. And it could mean two things. It could mean that things are about to come. The house of cards hmm. is about to come tumbling down. Or it means you better kill Jeffrey Epstein. So can, <laughs> you know, so I can be coronated as the, as ultimate pedophile in the United States. Um, it's, it, it's, there it, could it's, be only one. It, it's so interesting because all attention basically has dropped from 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 Spacey, and in fact, he's back. There was just a video of him performing some poem at like some fancy uh, you know, society gathering in Greece with all these you know hoity toity types. I think Kevin Spacey is going to reemerge. But everybody else involved in this is kind of it's it's not necessarily going down because these people kind of can't go down, um, or at least no one has. There's a lot of people with an interest of that they don't go down. But um, 
everybody else has been sort of tainted by this. Like, you know, Clinton is, uh, Prince Andrew is. Um, but Kevin Spacey, he's he's just sipping the tea. <laughs> Literally. Because because they came for him. It didn't it didn't work. And now they're coming for the royal family. They're coming for Epstein. And it is going to work. Well, it's not also not going to work. Uh, um, <laughs> to be to be honest about it, yeah. So yeah, I, it's definitely a, a symbol because there's no way that he thought he was going to get his fucking show back. Like, yeah, it's it's just like he becomes like one of those guys who's like bring Firefly back. Uh, <laughs> I dude, I I was I was out there in Times Square. I was counter protesting the OA guys. I, I was dancing to bring back House of Cards with Kevin Spacey, totally alone. You know, the only thing that kept me going was that Gandhi quote, you know, first they laugh at you. Then you have uh, Francis, the house cards back. <laughs> uh, so do you like silver lining? Maybe, you know, uh, we, we don't we try not to end on like total pessimism. Will Kevin Spacey be in a movie filmed in Serbia with Steven Seagal? Oh, God. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. Let's a Serbian do it. film, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess like uh, his whole life has been a, a, a yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Oh my god! What if they sent Seagal to kill Epstein? <laughs> They're like, all right, you can finally be of some use use to us. And he, he, he went in there, sat somehow, found a way to sit down. That's why Epstein was hung from the bed because was the only way Seagal could sit down. And he was like, "Your family hates you." And the, the, Epstein's last words were like, "Why are you making that voice?" <laughs> And he no. just fucking well, died. My, my, my theory about Jeffrey Epstein, either death or disappearance, is is my like this is my pet theory is that his good friends, David Blaine and David Copperfield, the magicians, <laughs> were able to one one was in charge of the cameras and the other was either in charge of taking out Epstein or disappearing him. I mean, these guys and by the way, made both, the Statue of Liberty disappear. By the way, both they can make Epstein disappear. Like all, pretty much all magicians. But Copperfield and David Blaine, especially, yeah, I will say allegedly many allegations of them being complete yo, rape monsters. No wait, oh, but, yo, no. I can't remember. I think David Blaine has a rape island. Yeah, Copperfield has a rape island. Oh yeah, yeah. Copperfield has a rape island. Yeah, you know who's like? There's I've never seen a bad word said about him. The mind freak. <laughs> That's oh, no, true. Absolutely. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no accusations against Chris Angel or Doug Henning. Actually, he was a yeah. good guy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, Gentle I, Canadian soul. The only good one, the amazing Jonathan, was going to blow the whistle on all these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave him the heart attack. But yeah, man. we got to put, I mean, I, I hate to, I hate sort of put a damper. I know witches are, are, are often persecuted around Halloween, with people doing <laughs> green, green face, et cetera. But we do, we really got to put a stop in the magic business until we can either figure out a counter for magic, which is possibly um, some sort of armor made out of steam, et cetera, or we can just throw all the witches in, in some sort of uh, prison. Put him in Idlib. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, okay, this is just like well, one final thing, like to, to wrap this up. Um, I, I know you must have seen recently uh, Hillary and Chelsea Clinton being on sort of a, a media tour to promote their latest children's book, which is about brave women. Yes. <laughs> about, uh, yes. I know one really brave woman. No one can find her right now. <laughs> And like, you know, they, they made the rounds of like, you know, the morning shows or whatever. And then again, of course, because the primary was going on, a lot of people were, you know, being like, oh, like Hillary Clinton's going to book all these media appearances. Wait, is she going to jump in? Blah, blah, blah. Which, you know, who cares? I am, of course, fingers crossed, extremely rooting for her to do just Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But yeah, so my, my, my broader question is you've got a, a bill just did a video about suicide awareness. Very, yes. very funny. But that was so good for my engagement. <laughs> that. Uh, oh, people lo also people love doing suicide. Everyone's aware of suicide. Like, everyone I know wants to do it. <laughs> Certainly, if if I was about to kill myself, I log Twitter to look at all the people who make me want to kill myself, and I see fucking Bill Clinton. I'm immediately taking fence. He just <laughs> Bill Clinton just shows up on a Facebook video, and he's like. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. <laughs> the, like, uh, I would understand. No, that but like, is that uh, it's, the, it's the best bullshit celebrity cause. Just awareness oh, of mental health. It's the best one. And like, I was gonna say, Bill yeah. Clinton. You know, he is scaled back. Oh yeah, and it's largely also yeah. due to the fact that he looks like a corpse now. Yeah. The adrenochrome uh, connect got. That's the plug. Off. Yeah, you know, the they plug. ran off on the plug. They Same thing with plug. Biden. That's why his brain is melting. <laughs> no, so, I have a Trump plug. I, I have a theory about Biden. I think so Biden like you would think he would be implicated in this 
like he fits the profile of all every powerful democratic politician who would be, but he's not. And I think, yeah. I think I know why. Why? Biden thought Epstein was gay. <laughs> By like <laughs> Epstein went up to Biden and was like, you know, he's like gave his idiot spiel. He's like, can I interest you? You know, some things, some rules are meant to be broken. And he's like, who's the, who's the queer Jewish fellow with all the daughters? <laughs> he's like, I really, res- I, he's like, I really respect you, man. Yeah. He's like, like, that's really cool that you're doing that. You're open about it. Yeah. Man, it's not my bag, but good, good, good. But God bless you, man. I'm so glad guys like you, they didn't even let you used to get on airplanes. Now you got your own man. <laughs> <laughs> well, just I, sorry to, to tie it all together. Like Bill has scaled back his his public profile but hillary yeah. and fucking chelsea like hillary clinton especially still out there are fucking like no fucking difference just mm-hmm. it, th- no chelsea way. was the best of all of them chelsea had the closest relationship with just lane yeah. maxwell yes. so yes. again like here's the question that i slam my fucking head into a wall every time it comes up why is anyone with the, whose name is Clinton or even tangentially associated with their political machine or their foundation allowed to go on TV and the first question they're asked is not about Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> Seriously? Because almost, it's like all the people that run these news channels are also like depraved rapists. It's kind yeah, of So true. like if they ask him about Jeffrey Epstein, someone will be able to ask them about, well, either their own connection to Jeffrey Epstein or like the the I'm sure countless rapes they've committed uh, with with female journalists. I mean, if the past couple of years have been any indication, all the people like CNN, NBC, Matt Lauer, or, you know, or Redstone, total fucking sickos. Yeah, it's it's a so mutually. Like, once you get a certain amount of money, if you were inclined to be a sicko, like naturally, there's like a it's like it's God does like a chance roll or something, and if you get like a six or above. You just become a, a an absolute like v- like vile piece of shit. And even if you don't naturally incline towards being a sicko, one yeah. wealth disconnects yep. you from humanity and makes you yeah. less empathetic, more of a sociopath. Mm. And two, they're gonna make you do it so they know you're cool. Like exactly. Like, there's there's a lot of people that talk about like oh, blah blah blah. Like it is. I mean, a cabal is just a collection of who do weird shit, and like. It's obviously rich people, like poor people bond by like cutting coupons or like, uh, you know, following, uh, you know, sort of bogus health pages on Facebook and rich people bond by just the merciless, like depraved exploitation of young kids. Mm-hmm. or young boys sometimes. Whatever, Yeah, whatever they like. I think people like no, all my coworkers talk about Epstein all the time. Like the people remember Epstein, but like the media has just immediately moved on. And, um, it's it's I, for some reason people have this still like vestigial trust in like the New York Times or CNN or something just because either the president hates it or because they don't like really know what else to turn to. But like those people are all implicated in one way or another, whether it's the sexual angle or whether it's the intelligence, they're all on the same side and it's not your side. Got to get rid of these rich people, man. Well, I mean, yeah, like when we talked about this with you, you and Liz, I mean, I think like. The, the the real like you know a, what is the resolution to any of this like you know how can it be fixed or changed like the answer is like there is no resolution or there won't be any like justice or tidy or anything satisfying publicly that will come of this but if you want to fix it just take away these people's money yeah like just take away yeah. the, the wealth of everyone and there would be like less there wouldn't be as they much of this shit. shit they couldn't yeah. do you it you can't buy an island you without the money you have a island if you don't have the island <laughs> yeah you gotta have the money so like when you know Bernie says like there shouldn't be billionaires like that's the obvious like next thing if you like, make it a fucking campaign issue there shouldn't be billionaires there shouldn't be rape islands yeah like you can't have both yeah, like exactly and one does you can't have one the without other. the other yeah. yeah exactly like it's 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 hundred percent agreed like it's and also I I think Bernie is one of the few people not connected to the cabal it's true I really do believe that even if that makes me a sucker I just I know yeah. why he doesn't but God I really wish he would come out and say. When I'm president, oh I'm God. announcing an independent council to investigate the Epstein murder. Case. When I met him, I was like, there was like a moment I had where I could have been like, Bernie, tell me about Jeffrey. And I just, I fucking blew it. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, your labor plan's really good. Like, Thank you. Like, Fuck. I should have been like, can you investigate Hillary Clinton for eating a child? <laughs> 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 all right uh, yeah yeah but i'll get to it someday i'll talk to one you. of these days well uh I, th- I think that does it uh for this episode i gotta plug something so this is only for people in the bay area i guess but need help with election day for dean preston who's running for supervisor 
uh, in my, uh, what do you call it? My district in San Francisco. So anybody in the Bay Area, take off November 5th. For, go to votedean.com and click get involved and sign up for election day. Hopefully that'll work and some, some person will come and shoot me. Uh, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be there. Uh, you'll be really cool if you go. Um, another thing, too, is uh, the Kurdish Red Crescent, Havia Soar, um, needs donations because uh, they're fixing up a lot of dead people. Yeah, just go to H-E-Y-V-A-S-O-R.com. And uh, find the donation link and donate to them. Cause we'll they're, put, they're the people who are stitching people up and seeing. Yeah, we'll, we will put that in the episode description. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, True Anon, my podcast about um, Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. No. Like, don't, don't, don't you guys have a live show? Or are you sold out? Oh yeah. We're do- well. The fucking live show is is five dollars door. There's no pre-sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not doing a live podcast. We're doing a multimedia terror experience. Ooh. Uh, like a hell house. We're, yeah. We're we're doing a live investigation of Jeffrey Epstein. That uh, uh, you'd be a fool not to attend if you're in the Bay Area. We're, build, we're building the fucking temple. Like, <laughs> on stage. Uh, it is November 5th at uh, oh, excuse me, the November 21st at the makeout room in San Francisco. Look for more further information in the show description. Uh, that does it uh, for this episode. Always a pleasure to enter the mind palace of one Brace Belden. Thank you, brothers. <laughs> brother brace brother brace yeah. brother brace brother william thank you so much <laughs> brother brace and all our brother and sister listeners uh goodbye for now Bye-bye. i admit it i'm afraid they gonna kill me for this probably put me in my grave for the lyrics i spit